God made herbs to heal the people. God made herbs to heal the planet. The Most High made herbs to heal the people. The Most High made herbs to heal the planet. Now, what does this have to do with, if you notice in the title and in the description, I have cancer, diabetes, obesity. Now, what does it have to do with that? Well, I would think it would be obvious. It heals the people. Herbs heal the people so it can heal these things. These are the most prevalent things that people have to deal with. And, and eventually it takes a lot of people out of here, right? Especially cancer and oh, uh, and actually obesity because of things that come along with obesity, such as heart disease, etc. So the thing is, guys, what it has to do with these particular things is we want to start with cancer, right? How does How is cancer caused? Usually cancer takes a little time. So with that said, and how it takes time is when too many cells become free rad like free radical uh, bombarded or bombarded by free radicals. Eventually, those cells turn over, turn over, turn over till they can't turn over anymore, and then um, you have too many cancerous cells in your body, and then eventually it wreaks havoc. Okay, and and the cancer takes over your body. Now, with antioxidants, though, right? What antioxidants do is they're molecules that stabilize cancerous cells, okay? So they give off some of their free electrons in order to stabilize cancerous cells. So that's how antioxidants work, okay? So basically, or what really what they do is they gave off free radicals okay and free radicals eventually end up causing cancer okay and so if you're constantly putting antioxidants in your body then your antioxidants are giving off free electrons okay stabilizing free radicals rendering them harmless all right makes sense so that's how antioxidants and the antioxidants in herbs can help negate cancer, okay? Even heal cancer or even reverse cancer, okay? But it's you, it's real strenuous and you still got to have the most high on your side at the end of the day. And, and then it does, it do, does call for a strenuous protocol, all right? All right. Um, also, now with obesity, right? Obesity... How does this work for obesity? Well, when you eat fruits and vegetables, especially wild herbs, wild edibles, okay, very potent plant food, okay, like I said, more potent than what you generally would get at the grocery store. Well, what happens, guys, is you stay satiated, okay, because your body, you've heard me say this before, your body is getting the required nutrients. So you'll notice once you start to heal your stomach, start to heal your body, eat right, and once you've been doing it consistently for a certain amount of time, you will notice as you eat these higher quality foods that you will stay satiated longer and you won't be as hungry as you normally are. So that naturally over time would help with being overweight because many people who deal with obesity are people who stay hungry. And the reason that they stay hungry is because a, a lot of times the things that they're eating are not very nutrient dense okay they're not very fulfilling to the cells in the body therefore the body is constantly craving food because really what it's craving is the nutrients that's missing in the depleted food but yet you constantly are eating okay and you're craving food but it's not that you're create craving the food so much as you're create craving the nutrients that the food is depleted of so yet you're still calling for food all right and you're not getting those nutrients in that food, that particular food, but you are getting the calories and the fat and you are and, and the sugar, right? And so what ended up happening is over time you're pumping these calories, but you're not you you're still eating, okay? Because you're not fulfilled. Your your cells are not fulfilled. They're still looking for those nutrients. So that's how we end up being obese, okay? Well, one of the reasons we end up being obese and like I said, you know for the sake of trying to keep my videos short 
I try not to go too far into things. I try to explain things, you know, simply and quickly enough so you can grasp the information. And uh, and then um, so that's what that's how it can help. Okay, with obesity. And then um, a lot of times there's also nutrient de deficiency. Nutrient deficiency, okay, uh, is what I was talking about as far as being overweight. But then this is this goes along with just nutrient defense deficiency period because along with nutrient deficiency comes a lot of different you know smaller problems and smaller diseases things that's not as popular as cancer diabetes and things like that but people have different nutrient deficiencies that cause issues okay and so with these potent herbs and plants they generally have all the vitamins and minerals that your body require okay and high dosages and high daily value dosages okay so therefore you're likely to not be deficient because you, you're getting all your required vitamins and minerals and macronutrients okay in these foods all right so and actually it help with the immunity because they have a lot of antioxidant rich you know vitamin C okay vitamin E vitamin A all these different vitamins are, are in these foods plentiful okay so that's how it will help with obesity and nutrient deficiency I mean uh, deficiency and also uh, what else I say and, oh and immunity okay and immunity let me see what else Now, so I said adapt adaptogenic herbs, they're adaptogen, so they, therefore they balance everything out. I think I pretty much, you know, I think I pretty much hit on everything, but I did want to tie in how it works as far as specifically cancer, diabetes. So if you have any of these things or you are prone to any of these things, you actually know how it's, how it's going to help you, okay, in preventing, preventing these things and or um, if you already have these things how you can possibly heal yourself okay through eating healthier food and wild food and herbs and things of that nature but take your time look into what you have to talk to, uh, look into you know um, i want to say this I, i'm not this is no i'm not the uh the fda i'm not a doctor i don't want to tell you uh, you know to, to do certain things you have to look into things yourself if, you know if you got to go to a doctor go to a doctor and things like that but these are alternative things that, that may can help you. Alright? So hopefully this was a helpful video, guys. Peace.